try to try to reflect back on my time here at uh, Kansas State, and I didn't want this to be anything about me, but you know, I talked about the love of the game with our guys, and college basketball has really changed over the years, and um, I really felt like. From day one, I'd take advantage of every opportunity got, and I just love the game of basketball. And I told these guys, you know, it's 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 taken me a long way in life, and it's provided for my family in about every capacity that I've you know worked in the game of basketball. So, you know, my message to our guys is just to appreciate every opportunity you have to play the game, and. Uh, you know, sometimes people think we ain't playing for anything, but at the end of the day, we're, we're, we're playing, fighting to play the game the right way, fighting to play, play, play with pride and, and just fighting to understand that every opportunity we're blessed with to play the game of basketball is it's important. And I was, you know, disappointed with that first half and I don't feel like that kind of message resonated you know, with the way we played, and, but uh, I'll give our guys credit. They had that grit and tenacity to, to compete and and uh, had every opportunity to win that game late. Just couldn't, never felt like we'd get the ball to bounce our way or get the call, the time they call when it mattered. But credit to Kansas State. I know I follow them very closely and I, I know what their record is in overtime and Coach Tang. And, they do an excellent job, and and uh, they just find a way to win in those tough situations. I didn't have a lot of time to think about it. You know, I was, I was surrounded by family and friends the last couple of days. You know, we came in on Saturday night, and it's always a great opportunity to get to see so many of my family that uh, I don't get a lot of time to, to spend with. So, you know. Spent a lot of time sharing stories and catching up with people, and, but no, I mean, it was uh, you walk out on that floor and and you think back to the time you had here, and, and uh, you know, I was a walk on here at Kansas State, and I just I did it for the love of the game. I wanted to be, I wanted I wanted to scratch that itch. I wanted I wanted to continue with the game of basketball one way or another. I didn't know where it was going to take me. But I wasn't the most talented guy by any means. But uh, uh, I wanted to continue to scratch that itch and play that game. And you love something that loves you back. And, and case in point, where I'm at right now, I've continued to love the game and and, and be passionate about it. And it's uh, got me to a position where I'm trying to take advantage of, of a great opportunity that I didn't, you know, foresee happening this way. I think they, you know, they just it's, they played with a different, uh, different type of swagger. You know, it's uh, felt like from the, in the first half, and and I, I questioned our energy and shoot around. You know, and 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 uh, whether we had that, you know, that that life to us, that swag to us. You know, and you know, I tried to tell these guys we, we we're, we're we're playing for something. Sometimes they don't, you know, I feel like they, they don't know if they're playing for anything. We've went through all kinds of struggles and whatnot, but we're playing for something. There's always that, that team in March that gets on a run and late February Mar in March and gets on a run and starts to, to gel. But I didn't see that in the first half and, and I really got after them at halftime and, you know, questions or motives for the game and, and I felt like they, they played the game more free. Uh, they played that, you know, the way it's supposed to be played with with that type of tenacity and aggression. He was good. He was really good. You know, he uh, when he lets the game come to him and and uh, you know plays with that confidence and doesn't try to force the issue and and uh, he's he's a special special player. Um, but Kirk Carissa, Raekwon Battle, those guys, uh, those guys were really good tonight, and uh, 
credit to our guys for giving me the, that effort that second half. I told them that's the team I want to coach day in and day out. Say that again. Well, Tyler Perry, I mean, when you see he can, when he sees a couple go in early, it, it can be a long night for an opponent. And um, he saw them, uh, he saw them fall early, and, and I was worried. You know, I thought maybe we could zone them, and uh, but we kind of threw out the game plan. They're late in the first half and, and had to, you know, make some adjustments. So, um, but, you know, we, we looked at the numbers and we watched film and, and we analyzed everything. It just seemed like from the numbers they weren't making shots and we could uh, try to pack the paint and, and force them to make shots behind screens and, and zone them. And it's just uh, that game plan got thrown out the window pretty quick. Coach, thank you. Thank you.